Hello beloved. It's been a while since I talked to you last and I wanted to do a second part to finding your function in the body of Christ. And I wanted to talk to you and tell you that, you know, last time I spoke with you about being in the church, you know, the prophet, teacher, preacher, evangelist, um, apostle, or even a deacon, or say you work in the nursery, whatever you're doing in the body, in your congregation, um, that that's wonderful. And I wanted to go beyond that because a lot of people think that if they're not doing something in their church, and let's just say you're showing up on Sundays and Wednesdays or whenever you go, um, and you're just giving your tithe. Hey, and if that's all you feel required of the Lord at this point in your life, then there's nothing wrong with that. But there's things that we can do in the world and still represent Him and still take Him to the world and show people who He is. Just because you're not maybe uh, doing something in your congregation doesn't mean God's not doesn't want to use you where you're at in your household, in your workplace, in the place you play, you know, taking your kids uh, to soccer games or basketball games or, you know, whatever whatever you're doing. Um, God wants you to be used of Him wherever you're going because we're children of God. We're, the, we're children of light and wherever we go, we take that light with us. We take the Messiah with us wherever we go and we encounter the darkness we encounter the world with that light and we're to make it shine bright for him because he said go into all the world he wants going into all the nations he wants us to take the world for his glory and to tell all the world the good news of his messiah who he sent to who anyone right who whosoever would repent and realize that they're a sinner whosoever can come that's what God's called us. So I just wanted to encourage you that um, if you are in the workplace, you know, let's say you're you're an actor, let's say you're a house a housewife, and or you work at McDonald's, or you're a doctor. It doesn't matter where you are. You can shine the light wherever you go. And you know, we are to happen to the world. The world doesn't happen to us. We are children of God. We are the children of the Most High who is the creator of all things. So wherever you go, you carry that light with you. You carry the truth with you. You carry his love with you. And you can let that shine on all the people you come in contact with. And you know, even working at McDonald's, you can be such a blessing to the people you're working with to your coworkers, to the to the people you encounter every day, to the people that come to you, you know, McDonald's to eat, you might have regulars, and even a smile from you could make their day. Or maybe they're sitting in the corner and you see that they're not you you just sense that they're, you know, not feeling right or they're down. Hey, the Holy Spirit could have you go over there and say something to them that could change their life could change. I mean, it's amazing the stories you hear of the things that uh, people have said to, to people or done for people that totally changed their life or totally switched something in their brain and it totally, you know, made a difference. And so we, you know, all the world, all creation is groaning for the sons and the daughters of God to be revealed. And I just want to encourage you, go out and be a son and a daughter of God and show the world who he is because time is running short and we have to be ready and we have to have our lamps full. We need to be prepared in season, out of season. We need to have a word because let me tell you, my brother committed suicide about two years ago and I, the first, one of the first things I thought about was where was the son or the daughter of God that could have spoken something to him, who could have said something that would have changed his mind, would have given him hope, would have just had him hold on. You know, I, I, I thought about that because so many people are so hurt and depressed and lonely and you could be right there at the right time and just say what they need. You could be, you could del be delivering them the water of life that they need at right now that they're so thirsty for that they're so they're so um, longing 
to hear and to know. And don't discount anyone. Don't discount anyone because God doesn't, you know? Sometimes we'll look at someone and go, oh no, they don't, they don't want to hear about it. Or, oh no, they'll turn me down. Or, you know, just, just don't. Just be led by the Spirit and do what you feel the Lord is telling you to do because we are called to go out into the world and make disciples of all nations. That's, I mean, that's the world. That's everywhere. And I just want to encourage you to do that. So wherever you are in your life, get in that function, in that place. I mean, you, you might be a, a doctor and you're functioning as an elbow, whatever that looks like. I don't know. But the point is that we all need to come together in unity. And just because you might not be in a church, particularly doing something, God can use you wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, wherever your realm of influence is, he can make a difference in your life, that you can make a difference in people's lives. And that's what we're supposed to do. Be children of light. And, you know, there's the seven hills of influence. I don't know if many people have already heard about that. Or the seven mountains. And so that is the mountain of entertainment, religion, education, business, family, science and medicine, and government. Hey, if God's calling you to go into the government, be a light. Be a voice of truth in the government. If God's calling you to be an actor, be a light, be a voice of truth as an actor. You know, love is covers, covers a multitude of sins and love just overcomes hatred. And you might have to be patient with someone and you might have to love on them for a while, but that love will change things because God's love has to change things. And I just want to encourage you, you know, if you're in, even in science, you know, if you if you went if you're in a scientist, hey, you can change you can change people's hearts and minds. Just it does it doesn't matter. God can move and and use you wherever you're at. Just be open. Open your heart to say, Lord, what do you want me to do today? Is there someone you want me to speak to? And you know, you don't necessarily have to lead them in the the prayer of the salvation. No. God God can use all different kinds of things for you to be used. He don't have to have that this prayer memorized and have them say certain things. You, you never know, just like I said, the small things that you could do that could really affect someone that you would never even realize that um, it, it affected them. Just even a hug. Um, even when you touch someone's arm. I mean, you know, I know you have to be careful nowadays. <laughs> in the workplace but you know what I'm saying use wisdom obviously but you know just be led of the Holy Spirit and he'll 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 guide you and and um, it'll you'll be amazed at what God can can do through you and how you can affect people and in uh, people in your realm of influence and so I just want to encourage you just because you're maybe not in an official capacity in your church um, doesn't mean you're not part of the body. doesn't mean you're not doing something in the body because God wants to take these seven mountains, these seven hills of influence. Again, I'm going to tell you, they are entertainment, religion, education, business, family, science and medicine, and government. So that's basically all the influential you know, places in our society that um, God can send you in and for you to make a difference. So don't, don't discount anything that you're doing and think that it's less than if you're not doing something in the church. No, just go and shine your light wherever you are because you carry the, the, light, of the, the light of the world, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus in you, and you can make a difference. So I just bless you in the name of Yeshua the Messiah.